So we've talked about, uh, about risk scoring, uh, we've talked about uh, alerts. Uh, now let's uh, dive into, uh, into a demo uh, of Linker Enterprise. Uh, and we are going to, uh, to be connected uh, once again to a fictional database uh, of, a, of a bank. Uh, it contains KYC and transactional information. Uh, and we are going to investigate a series of transactions uh, related to a potential money laundering ring. Uh, we are going to uh, see three big things. Uh, first, we'll see how to monitor your data uh, to detect suspicious patterns. Uh, then we'll see how to investigate uh, one particular suspicious case. And then uh, we'll see how to share your findings uh, with uh, with help. So let's uh, let's switch to the, to the demo now. So this is um, the Linker Enterprise uh, UI. Here I'm connected uh, to uh, a workspace uh, that's shared with uh, my uh, anti monitoring team. Uh, I can have uh, multiple visualizations, uh, multiple folders uh, to facilitate uh, the communication of findings uh, with, uh, with comments. Right now, what I want to talk about uh, is alerts. So I'm going to go to the alerts dashboard. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about how to generate uh, some, some, some alerts. Uh, and I'm going to show you what a specific alert uh, looks like. So this is an example of, a, of an alert. Uh, it's called associated parties, uh, and it's based on a graph pattern. Uh, it's actually the same exact graph pattern uh, that uh, I showed earlier on. Uh, so we are looking for uh, for um, a situation such as a bank accounts uh, that's sending money uh, to two other bank accounts. Uh, so that's described uh, in this section. And then what we want uh, to, uh, to identify is when all of these bank accounts uh, are actually uh, interconnected uh, across uh, across uh, relationships such as um, uh, such as um, the the fact that the the officers of the company uh, are actually the uh, actually uh, employed and working in the in the same uh, same companies. So it's as easy as you know um, typing uh, that uh, that uh, that, qu uh, that query uh, in the Linkers Enterprise uh, UI, and then uh, Linkers Enterprise uh, will will uh, monitor the data uh, and raise an alert, uh, a case, I guess, uh, every time that um, there's a uh, there's um, in the data an occurrence of the pattern that we have just described. So that's uh, what this looks like uh, from the perspective of a, of a data scientist. Uh, but what I want to, uh, to talk about now uh, is uh, what this uh, looks like more from the perspective of, a, of an actual investigator. Um, and that investigator uh, would typically connect um, to Linker's Enterprise and look at um, the, the list of cases. Uh, that list of uh, cases can be Slice and diced uh, based on you know the um, the alert types uh, based on the status of the alert. Um, but right now I'm just going to uh, to go ahead and look at the uh, the latest alert. So I'm clicking on it now. I can see a bunch of, uh, of information about that. Uh, I can see that it hasn't been assigned yet. Uh, I can see that you know the status is open. Uh, I can change that. I can assign it to myself. But uh, right now I want uh, to just open the open the case. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so we can see, see an alert, um, and it definitely matches the pattern that we uh, that we have described earlier. Uh, so we have one bank account, which is right there. Uh, it's sending money, and that's you know um, a money transfer uh, to this to this bank account, and it's also sending money to another bank account, which is right there. So one bank account and sending money to two bank accounts, and there's nothing. Nothing suspicious, uh, nothing wrong about uh, all of that. Uh, what's interesting is that at the same time, uh, we see that uh, this, uh, this bank account belongs to a company called Parts Plus Auto Repair, uh, which is associated with that director. Uh, and that director uh, seems to uh, be connected to another, uh, another uh, director of the same name. Uh, so it has been resolved uh, via the anti sterilization process as uh, you know one and the same uh, entity uh, uh, for the choice. And that director is connected to this company uh, called Silver Inn. Uh, okay. And that company uh, is connected to Ahmed uh, Mehmet, uh, who himself uh, is connected to this Ahmed uh, Mehmet, uh, who controls the bank account associated with uh, who controls the company as she did with these bank accounts. 
And this company is actually uh, apparently on the same company uh, as this one. I can see um, I can see the source uh, for all of this information. Um, for example, here Silver In, we can look it up uh, in the Open Corporate uh, website uh, to see some extra information. Uh, and and here we can see uh, when we zoom out uh, that we indeed are looking uh, at uh, at a ring where these bank accounts uh, are actually belonging to, uh, to the same persons because um, at the end of the day it's uh, Silver In. Uh, which is uh, sending uh, which is sending money to uh, to these companies that are controlled by uh, this guy and these guys are uh, one directors of, uh, of silver in uh, and we wouldn't understand that if we are just looking at you know these tra transactions uh, taken uh, in isolation um, we need to uh, to look at the at the broader context uh, to see to understand that uh, and to see that there's potential potentially something suspicious uh, that's going on we can actually dive deeper in the in the data. Uh, so I can you know click on these two bank accounts and see what they are connected to. So they are connected to uh, some extra bank accounts. Uh, they are you know they are sending money to uh, to this bank account, this bank account, this bank account, and this bank account. So let's learn more about that. So I'm going to go ahead and say these four companies, uh, these four uh, bank accounts. Okay. Uh, and we uh, we have identified another set of, uh, of companies. Uh, I can extend all of them. And we see some uh, some extra uh, some extra information. So, for example, uh, Gobert Hub uh, Ltd. Uh, it's been identified as a potential match uh, with another company called uh, Gobert Hub Ltd. And uh, interestingly, uh, this company seems to share a phone number with uh, Big, Big Impact Graphi Graphics Limited, which has been identified as. Uh, um, uh, duplicate uh, of this uh, of this company. Okay, uh, and now if we look, uh, if we do the same kind of, a, of analysis uh, with the other uh, companies, uh, such as this Knox, okay, you can see that this Knox. It's also sharing uh, a phone number with uh, Foch Immobilier, which has been identified as a duplicate for uh, for Foch uh, Immobilier. So we uh, we are uh, I mean these uh, four uh, four accounts uh, that uh, receive the that receive uh, money uh, from the from the two um, two initial bank accounts uh, are actually interconnected to, uh, to one another. Uh, that reinforce uh, and this uh, reinforces the, the suspicions uh, that we uh, that we may have. Uh, that visualization that we that we see on the screen uh, may uh, may be a bit uh, complex, uh, and we have different different ways uh, to uh, to reduce uh, the complexity here. Uh, for example, we can Regroup uh, relationships uh, when there are multiple relationships uh, between uh, any uh, any two um, two nodes. Uh, it's also possible uh, to bring this data uh, into a timeline uh, to see, for example, the the flow uh, of money uh, in a, uh, during uh, during during you know uh, as time evolves. So we can see the, the initial transactions. Uh, we can see the the last transactions, uh, for example. We can also uh, slice and dice the, the data. Maybe uh, what, it, uh, what I want uh, is to just look at um, the bank accounts. So I'm going to go ahead uh, and do that. Select all the bank accounts. And I'm going to uh, remove everything, everything else. 
I'm actually going to, uh, to use a uh, different layout now, a YARQ layout, just to, uh, to get a uh, different perspective on the, on the, on the data. Uh, and here we see the, the bank account, the, the bank account that's connected to, uh, to Silver In, uh, which is the, the initial uh, company. Uh, so it's sending money to uh, two of our bank accounts. And then uh, it's sending money to, uh, I mean, these two bank accounts are sending uh, the money uh, one uh, layer deeper in the, in the network uh, to four bank accounts. And we have seen that these four bank accounts are actually interconnected uh, uh, across uh, information su such as uh, such as phone numbers. Uh, so it's really, really suspicious. Uh, all, of, all, of, all of the companies uh, that are in that network uh, are actually connected to, uh, to one another uh, and the money uh, is flowing uh, through this network of, uh, of companies. It could be indicative of uh, money laundering scheme. 